Hi there, this is Tamara with the Rogers Public Library and we're going to do another overview for you. This time we are looking at LibCal, which is the Rogers Public Library's new events and room booking website. This video will show you how to book a space for your art organization. So here we go! The first thing you'll want to do is to go to our website that is located at www.rogerspubliclibrary.org. From there, you will tap on events, and you will see all of the programs that are put on by the library. You will go up and tap on the word LibCal on the left that is under the library logo, and then you will see spaces on the right. You can glance at our meeting room policy, or you can go back, and there is a button that says book a room. So you'll choose your meeting rooms. The library has two different spaces, meeting room, which is our three small study rooms. You can tap info beside the room for a description. You cannot book on the day of, which is the same day, so you'll have to book at least 24 hours before you need the room. When you choose a date, you'll see that there are green blocks of open time slots. Tap on your start time. If you try to trap, tap on the next time slot, it will be confused, so go down below the blocks and you will see it say your start date until dot 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 and our drop down menu. This is where you'll choose your end time by 15 minutes. Tap submit times and you'll be taken to our meeting room policy. Read through it and then click continue at the bottom to be taken to a form. When you go to this form, you must fill it out um, to be submitted for your booking approval. So you will get a follow-up email with approval or denial for your request. Please fill out all of the boxes that have an asterisk. You can also add a nickname if you want your event to be seen on the public calendar. So I'm going to choose tutoring with Mr. Penguin. Roger Penguin uh, is going to be booking the room. You put the phone number and name of your organization. We're going to just put... Um, tutoring in here. Um, once you have put the name of the organization, you will go down further into the form. Only nonprofit organizations may reserve this room, uh, so it will ask if there is an organ if your organization is nonprofit. We are going to choose the Literacy Council uh, with Mr. Penguin. The purpose of the meeting, you can put tutoring, um, you can put, uh, let's go back and put a Zoom call in here. And then, because Mr. Penguin isn't good with technology, he will also put in the notes saying that he may need help with the computer. So, the button underneath says this reservation will be reviewed by RPL staff and it is not confirmed until you receive an approval email. You will submit your booking and it will say thank you. Your booking is now pending library approval. And then you will receive an email later with the library's decision of whether it has been approved or denied. So let's go look at those emails. So here's the email. This is an email stating that uh, we have gotten your request for booking. Uh, you just double check all of the information. You can go and cancel it. Just press the link down at the bottom and you can cancel all of your bookings that you have you'll get an email saying we understand that you have canceled your booking. When your booking is approved, you'll get an email saying so. Check the information to make sure you have the correct time and uh, room. There's info telling you how you can check in when you arrive for your reservation, so you'll just follow that link. Or you can stop by the information desk and let them know, or there may be a QR code at the door. So you will just check in using the code that's in your email and it will say check in is successful when you are at your location ready to enter the room. If you uh, get done early or if you're done with the room, just keep this uh, web browser open and it will say ready to check out. So you'll just push that button whenever you're ready to check out. And that is just a brief little overview for you about LibCal and how to book a space with our new events and room booking website. See you later.